a day. But oh my God, she is so heavy. I remember when I used to be able to just lift her up. Now getting Ivy out is absolutely incredible. I'm not kidding, guys. This isn't acting. This is heavy. Oh my gosh, Ivy, what is going on? I literally thought for a second I was gonna be able to just put her on my shoulder and talk to you guys about her. But I know it seems crazy that I'm already wore out, but I'm telling you, okay, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I can't even express to you guys how happy this girl. I gotta go back to the ground. Oh my gosh, and I know people make fun of me like, oh my gosh, he is so out of shape. I am telling you what, guys, I challenge you to come here and do any time with her. Whenever I have people here and hold her, they go, now I see why you're out of breath, because they just wear you out. They're a big muscle, they're constantly moving. And of course, Ivy is certainly, probably, don't say any, maybe my favorite big snake, but I don't know. The new girl's getting pretty darn good too, but there is something so special about Ivy and the green anaconda. And we've talked about in the past that green anacondas are not the largest snake in the world. They're probably the heaviest body snake in the world. I mean, a normal anaconda at a full-size female could get 200 plus pounds and even up to 300 pounds, whereas reticulated pythons typically don't get anywhere near that 150, sometimes pushing 200. I mean, the real giants that are 250, 300 pounds they're kind of like, to be totally honest with you, probably a little bit overfed, whereas these guys can get that weight even not overfed. That's just their natural body size. But I mean, what an amazing snake. So today I think I'm gonna just mess with my largest snakes, and I have to start with my girl, Ivy, because I just love her so much, and she's just so absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, what a workout. I thought if I'm gonna hold all these big snakes, I think I'm gonna need a nap later on today because it's amazing, but uh, if you guys ever get the opportunity, whether it's to come here or to go somewhere else and actually hold a giant anaconda that's tame, or a giant retic or a giant Burmese, please do it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have done that in the past and what you think. I mean, is it as tiring as I make it to seem or am I just a complete wimp? Because it really is amazing, but I would love to hear your stories of your largest snake you've ever held. All right, you guys know I'm not gonna be messing with big snakes and not take my girl Lucy out. Now, the thing is that she hasn't been in the greatest of moods lately, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna go, so I, uh, I've i got these guys. Everything should go well. Hey, yeah, this is gonna go great. What, I, got what, it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it, okay. Yeah. Can't hesitate, just like that anole in Florida. No hesitation. See, you're hesitating. What? You got it. What? Look at no hesitation, just going like this. Whoa. <laughs> See? Whoa. Oh my god, the muscles Whoa. and everything. Now she's okay. wet. About to get wet and wild. Guys, go. <laughs> Everybody jump in the Go Mike. Jay, go Mike. Okay, okay Jay, thanks it. for help, Jay. Good job, Mike. Appreciate it, Jay. Good job, Brian. We're gonna bring her over here. Okay, down. Alright, thank you guys. I can take it from here. Appreciate you guys. You're I'll be totally honest with you. Yeah, good job, Noah. You <laughs> I actually think Ivy and the other girl is maybe just as big, if not weight-wise. To be honest with you, Lucy is just a lot less predictable. If you know what I mean, like, even like, that, whew, she is definitely feisty, guys. I'm not even kidding you. She's just been in a bad mood this last couple months, and she goes through that. You guys know that, follow me, that she'll go through three or four months where she's a puppy dog, then she'll go through a couple months where she is just a monster, and she just wants to bite everything. But unlike some of them, she definitely is a runner. So when you got a giant snake that runs, it's really difficult to keep her in one spot, obviously. It's like an aerobic workout. And the problem is, is that if you manhandle her too much, she gets upset. Watch out, Jay. <laughs> dude, it's always so, it's grim, dude, it's grim. Oh! I'm not happy, I'll be honest with you, she could swing back anytime. Oh! Ooh. Come on, girl. Come on, baby. You're okay. Oh! All right, all right, good job. Ooh. All right. So obviously, big snakes are amazing. Been keeping them since I was 15 years old, and I couldn't imagine life without it. And you know what? It really is a workout. Speaking of workout, if you want to be part of the boot camp, the Reptile Army boot camp, that is, you can go to reptilearmy.com, go ahead and join the army, and one day you can maybe wear your shirt here, or whatever merch here, backpack, and you can hold Lucy with me. Oh my gosh, this is probably not the best idea I've ever had. But I tell you what, she is truly amazing, and I love having a day of big snakes. Woo! But I tell you what, I think I've had enough. I'm walking away. Hey, you guys, over here. Oh no! I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh. Come on, Lucy. It's okay. Just let her go. Come with me, come with me. Lucy, come with me. Oh. Come on, girl. It's all right. It's okay, girl. Yeah, she's definitely not in a good mood right now. Getting her back is probably something that you have to be a little bit afraid of. Woo! 
Keep going this way. This way. Let her go right in her cage. Keep going. I'm saving these guys a trip <laughs> to the hospital. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. That would have been a nightmare if they tried. She was definitely not happy. Then, of course, we've got my newest girl, my ghost reticulated python, that I am absolutely in love with. I mean, this girl has really just been the snake that I've always dreamt about having. You know, don't get me wrong, I love Ivy, and I love Lucy for that matter, to be honest with you, but this girl is the girl that I know I can take out with large parties or a bunch of kids, and of course we're gonna stay very diligent because it's a big snake, but the fact is, is that we've had her now for a couple weeks, and literally, she is the tamest thing that I can ever see. You could take her out, you could do anything with her. She never seems to get upset, she never hisses. She is just an absolute wonderful animal. Again. Shocked she's only 16 and a half foot long and thinking about how big she is which is almost the size of Lucy She's gonna get another three four five maybe even six feet long and think about how much weight She'll have then because right now it is impossible to pick her up by herself As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and give it a shot, but I don't think it's gonna work out so well and uh I can't imagine when she puts another 50 60 pounds on because she is absolutely enormous. Come on girl Oh, oh my god uh, uh. Uh, uh. And again, I'm only supporting about a third of her body right now, and she is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm just going to be her tree. <laughs> what a great snake. And again, I still don't have a name. Listen, I've told you guys, when it comes to naming animals, it's just got to feel right. It's got to be the right name, especially with an animal that's as important as this girl is going to be for me for the next, hopefully, 15 years. Oh my god, now she's all curled up. Now I've got her whole weight. And she is heavy as could be. So keep coming in the comments with, with your name suggestions, because again, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be something where, as soon as I say it, kid's face lights up, right? And, uh, but, <laughs> all right, now I'm getting worn out again. Woo, doggy, I tell you what, this has definitely been a fun day. Every day that I can mess with giant snakes is a good day. And I love this girl to death. She is such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, just pure muscle, though. What an amazing animal. Again. Gotta come up with a good name, guys. You gotta help me. It's gotta be something spectacular. Noah. What's up? What happened there? What the what? You you were you didn't help me out that much. You there was enough people. You didn't even need me. Didn't need you? I needed you, Noah. How? What happens when I'm gone? You've gotta take over Lucy. Yeah, that's fine. I got her. <laughs> There's nothing. You you had six employees with you. You didn't even need me. I know. I just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome for nothing. You're great. I tell you what, after holding those giant snakes, Sunrise certainly doesn't seem so big, but she is a nice big animal. And the thing that's really cool is that well, this is kind of the biggest snake that we take out and let people actually hold. And even kids, you know, that are eight or nine years old can actually hold this girl because she's only just under 40 pounds. So she's not that much. Although she certainly feels a lot bigger. And one day, because she's a Burmese python she could literally be 17 or 18 foot and well over a hundred pounds there's no doubt about it but I love the fact that she's this size she's big but she's not too big that's right and those are some of the giant animals that I work with on a daily basis and I tell you they're absolutely incredible I mean let me know in the comments if you guys would give it a go with any of those animals I want to know how many you have the guts to get in with Lucy because she's certainly the one that's the most dodgy for sure you just never know with an animal like that but sunrise you never have to worry about and that's the thing that is amazing about giant snakes is the vast majority of them are puppy dogs just like this girl and when people come into the reptarium they really get a different appreciation for animals like that and that's why my new ghost girl needs an amazing name because she is gonna be just like sunrise where we can take her out and get people just absolutely blown away that a giant snake can be so placid and I hope that you guys enjoyed this little trip down the giant snake lane a big old box showed up today and Brian apparently ordered some stuff that I was not aware of. So I'm gonna open it and it's gonna be a surprise because again, I did not order this and I really don't know what it is. It's a big box, so I don't know if it's a big animal or a bunch of little ones because the reality is <laughs> it could be either. But I feel like if it was something big, he would make sure he was here. So let's see. Oh wow, yes. Okay, so it definitely is a bunch of little things. Baby boas. Wow. Okay. I guess this is good. We, we don't have any baby boas right now, and I'm sure lots of people would love to have some baby boas. They look like just baby Colombian red tail boas. 
but there's definitely some really pretty ones in here. It's probably somewhere around 50 or so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be calling Brian to, to ask about these, but uh, yeah, I guess these will be coming up on the site soon. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it a little short this time just for you guys and I'm gonna show you what I do with Toothless. He's such a sweet boy and as you guys know we have a long long history especially him I feel very very bonded to him. He's always just the sweetest sweetest animal to play with. The only thing that I would say is probably the one fallback with him is he's been pooping on people. And now me personally doesn't bother me. I always keep a spare, spare shirt in the truck. Never have, never have an issue but um, obviously if you're working five six hours throughout the day in this hot 80 degree building doesn't matter what time of year you got poop wearing on it you're gonna be smelling that bad boy so uh, I, I am I am trying to teach him to be a little bit more used to being held by other people so uh, that way even if he does poop on us it happens on a more controlled basis and we're able to actually keep holding him because the worst thing you want to do is when they do it just like that there he goes so the worst thing you want to do right now is put him down now it's gross it smells really really bad especially because it's straight per protein crap but uh but anyways uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. he's a beefcake, you know. Now I'm forced to wear this for a little while because I don't want to put him down to make him think, oh, I won this battle, it's done and over with. So, uh, that is the unfortunate part about keeping animals like this is that you're gonna have to deal with a lot of smells. Um, I guess I'm not going to the bar after this. <laughs> hey, Bruce, you're gonna hit you on me. Oh, dude, you spill a Sunday? <laughs> I wish. I wish I were the coyote. Dude, dude, what the heck happened, man? Oh man, you know too. You got blasted. <laughs> you got blasted. Like, he, like, as soon as I mention it, he's just like, kaboom! Everywhere, oh bro. I'm God, like, dude. Jesus. Like, that is, just, that's disgusting. Clean up, <laughs> man. Get out of here. Smell it. Ugh. Ugh. Loving this combo here. This is actually what they would call a het russo ball python, which is in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. So basically when you breed two het russos, you get a blue-eyed leucistic, or if you breed a lesser to a het russo, so like that actually bred to the banana GHI. You guys know that GHI to lesser and GHI to Mojave, which are in the blue-eyed complex, make really cool animals. Well, same thing with the het russo. A little bit different animal, but still pretty cool. So we'll have banana GHI het russos, basically, which are pretty cool animals. It looks like that she's wrapped around a nice clutch eggs it's okay girl i know mama she's going like don't take my eggs please she is a good girl she's definitely a good mama we'll go ahead and get these eggs over here one last egg right here and we end up having two four six seven good eggs again great combo can't wait to see what actually comes from it hopefully we'll get a banana ghi hat russo that would be absolutely incredible so uh, again the year continues to keep going here we still have about 40 or 50 more clutches to pull some will be over on our patreon page link in the description hope you enjoyed today's vlog on the giant snakes if you did here's a playlist of all just really large animals that i've messed with in the past you can watch one or two of those videos i'd appreciate it i'd also appreciate it if right here you can hit that subscription button so that you know when i upload a video have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you in the next one